Hi there, welcome back. Shane here with you from Guitar at Work. This is a song called You and Me by Life Post. Great song. Uh, some really neat uh, bass note stuff going on in this. Um, no capo on this guy. We're in three, meaning three beats in the bar. Um, and a neat little uh, figure going on. Um, I think we all know a straight G. There's a picture of it there on your chart. Straight G. And what we're asking you to do, you'll see a dot written uh, just beside the chord diagram, asking you to play the lowest available note here. Lowest available note, just like that, on the G chord, and then come back with an up, down, up. Strum. So again, that's a bass, up, down, up. Let's do that again. Let's go on bass, up, down, up. Um, I'll call those the strums of consequence. You can get a bit more scrubby later on for sure. Let's just keep it bare bones for the moment. And I'm going to play that again. Here's your low E string. And you've got a G here in your left hand. Bass, up, down, up. Now I'm going to go to C add 9, as your paper might suggest. C add 9, just like that. We all know them. There's a picture of them. And your lowest note on that guy would be the A string, your second thickest string. Bass, up, down, up. So same idea, but just gotta watch what, which bass notes you're hitting. So that one would be the A string, your second thickest string, bass, up, down, up. And I should tell you, when you isolate a bass note, uh, you try not to hit them again when you're strumming. It just keeps them separate. Not the end of the world if you do, but it just keeps it nice and separate. So far, our first line is this. Here's a G, going bass, up, down, up. And here's a C add nine, bass, up, down, up. G slash F sharp is next, second line of your handwritten page. Uh, Ring and pinky, they stay put, as they do for most of the song. Boom, that guy right there. First finger is going to land on the second fret of the low E string. And you play that, isolate that guy, bass, up, down, up. And now that's an odd sounding chord all on his own. Remember, he's going to be resolving and just bring him down to the next chord, G slash B. First finger moves, one string thinner, and isolate that A string. Good. And we know which strings to isolate because we've seen, we see the X's. If there's an X in a chord, um, Xing out the lowest string, then it makes sense that the, the next, next string would be your bass note. I hope that makes sense. We'll try to give you a good close up to those as well. So the first two lines, though, far, so far we've got G, bass, up, down, up, C add nine, bass, up, down, up, G slash F sharp, bass, up, down, up. And here's a G slash B, bass, up, down, up. Now in real time, check this out. Three and one, two, three. Bass, up, down. Good. So it starts to sound a bit more musical once you get the tempo up a little bit. Uh, and the third line, we're heading to E minor seven. Your ring finger stays put. There's lots of E minor sevens out there. It's going to be this guy you want. Ring and pinky have stayed put from where they were in the previous four chords. E minor seven. And there's no X's in that guy, so you hit the low E string. Bass, up, down, up. And again, that was bass. Up, down, up. Now we're heading to a D, just a garden variety D shape here. Pinky does have to come off at this point. And two X's and a D is going to bring you to uh, play as isolate your bass note would be the open D string itself. Up, down, up. Good. And now the last line here of the handwritten page, I'm going to go to C add nine and you'll see a zero two written there. I'm going to go to C add nine, but I'll remove my first finger and I'm going to give it one strum and then hammer on the second fret of the D string with your first finger. That's a lot coming at you. Again, C add nine, remove that first finger and give it a strum, down strum, and then uh, hammer that first finger on. It's subtle and you might not hear it at first. Uh, sometimes you're just not hitting it hard enough. Sometimes your middle finger might be moving sympathetically when you hammer him on and he's choking out that string. So try to stand him up tall, make sure that, that string is free and clear. And it should sound this way, you're getting hammer and then up, down, up as you see written there. And again, it's going hammer, up, down, up. Okay, one more time. It's going hammer, up, down, up. That's looking good. Now the last bar in the verse section, just remove him. It's called C sus2. And down, up, down, up. Just like that. So the last two bars in the verse again from the hammer, C add nine. Hammer, and then up, down, up. And then remove the first finger, down, up. That's your C sus2. C add nine, sus2, whatever we're going to call it. Uh, let me play a whole verse section here for you. Here is G coming very slowly. Th one, two, three. Bass. Up. C add nine. G slash F sharp. G slash B. E minor seven. Here's a D. C add nine with a hammer. Up, down, up. Off he comes. 
Good, let's repeat that. One, two, three, G, bass, up, down, of C add nine, G slash F sharp, G slash B, E minor seven, here's a D, and C add nine with a hammer, C sus two, Excellent. So that's your verse uh, in slow motion. It sounds this way at full clip here. One, two, three, boom. E minor, D, hammer, repeat. G, C add nine, G slash F sharp, G slash B, E minor seven, D, C add nine, or with, with the hammer. Nice. Now. We're heading into the chorus. At that point, you've actually done the hardest part so far, if you've gotten uh, this far. You may have to shut the tape off at that point, or shut the video down, pause, rewind, just get to know those. Uh, strongly recommend you pay close attention to where you're resting here in your right arm. I keep saying this, I know, but don't rest on the bicep like that. You're having to support your forearm if you're doing that. It'd be very tricky to nail those bass notes. Pretty soon, we don't want you to have to look at that right hand to, to pick which bass note. You're gonna know where that string is just by a consistent rest with your right hand. Nothing more important than that, for sure, in the, in the right hand. Uh, the chorus bit starts the same way. I'm going to start on a G, bass, up, down, up. Now G slash A, I'm going to take off my first two fingers here. I'm ringing pinky stay, just like that. Now the A string itself is the guy you want. Good. And you'll see that marked in the chord diagram with a little circle over top, a little circle in there. Um, from the top of the chorus, again, starting from G, it's going bass, up, down, up. Now G slash A, you got to get rid of these two fingers here. Just play the open A string, bass, up, down, up. Odd sounding chord, but remember it's going to resolve here to C add nine. Here it is here, C add nine, bass, up, down, up. And that repeats, C add nine, bass, up, down, up. Third line of the chorus, E minor seven, this guy here, no X's, so you can use the low E as your bass. Bass, up, down. Going to a G, lowest note is your bass note, bass, up, down, up. E minor, regular E minor. Heading to a D, two X's, isolate your D string here. Okay, so here's the chorus E bit, slowly in time, G, three, four, going bass, G slash A, C add nine, another C add nine, E minor seven, G, E minor, regular E minor, D. I'm gonna repeat that, G, Slash A, C add nine, another C add nine, E minor seven, G, E minor, regular E minor, and a D coming. Good, now, after the second time through the chorus, you hit a C add nine and you do that little hammer on thing that we saw in the verses, this guy. I'll do it twice. Here's your chorus section, uh, medium tempo, medium tempo, all the way through, then go repeat it. Uh, and here comes G, one, two, three, G, slash A, C add nine. E minor seven, G, E minor, D, repeat from there, G, slash A, C add nine, E minor seven, G, E minor, D, C add nine, there's your hammer thing, twice. And now you're back to the verse section, and we know that, it's going G, C add nine, G slash F sharp, G slash B, the names are worse than the plane. E minor seven, D, C add nine, Good. So verse, chorus, verse, chorus, etc. Um, the only other section you have to watch out for is a bridge. I'm now looking at the song sheet. About uh, three quarters of the way down your song sheet, you're going to find the bridge. Uh, it starts on a B minor. And hey, if B, if B minor is new to you, or if you've been struggling with it, perfect song to get you to get that guy game ready for sure. B minor barred here on the second fret, um, only on the top, only on the five strings. You don't have to bar that sixth uh, sixth string. I don't recommend that you do. There's B minor, and a middle finger here will be on the third fret of the B string. Ring finger is on the fourth fret of the D string, and pinky's on the fourth fret of the G string. That's a lot to remember. There's a chord diagram there for you. You may get this at first. Oh, struggle through it like anybody else. Just get on there. Try to keep that first 
first finger as straight as you can. Kind of hug the fret, roll your finger back a little bit. That's the one there. Uh, he starts out B minor. Now it's written twice, uh, and we're in th we're in three four. The time signature is three four. So I'm going to go one two three one two. That was two bars of B minor. Then he's heading to a C. One two. Same thing. G D E minor B minor. I'll do it slowly in a second. And a minor. One two bars of that. Here's a D. B minor here, the last line of the, of the bridge, now he's going to take that B minor drag it one fret higher, that makes it a C minor. And it's four bars just sitting there before he goes into a chorus again. So slowly, here's your bridge section again, starting from B minor, give you a second to load up on that guy, thumbs nice and low, there you go, one, two, three, two bars, one, two, three, one, two, here's a C, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, G, one bar, D coming, E minor here, one, B minor, second line of the bridge, A minor is twice, one, two, three, one, and a D twice, one, two, three, one, B minor twice, one, two, three, one, now C minor, drag it up one fret, four bars, two, three, two, two, Three, three, two, three, four, two. Now we're back into a chorus -y bit. So you're getting G, A, it's G slash A, C add nine, etc. through the chorus. Um, now again, the strumming can get a bit more frisky as you see fit for sure. Um, that's again your skeletal thing. You could put something on beat two. Um, if I just sat on the G, right now we have this one, two, and three, and. We're going bass, and then we're waiting up. You could put a little tickle on the, the next downstroke, which would be this. Bass, down, up, down, up. Again, bass, down, up, down. I'll play through a verse with that in mind. Three, one, two, three. Bass, C add nine, G slash F sharp, E minor seven, D, here's your C add nine. So uh, I wouldn't make that, if you're going to add that downstream, don't make them too loud. It is in there. It just, um, it's just a bit of a tickle compared to the rest of it. Um, so here it is in, in real time. Here's your verse, your chorus, and uh, we'll take it on out of here. Here it is. One, two, verse. So boom. C add nine. G slash F sharp. G slash B. E minor seven. D. C add nine. Hammer thing. Repeating the verse. G. C add nine. G slash F sharp. G slash B. E minor 7, D here, C add 9, hammer, and double that, chorus, G, slash A, C add 9, repeat C add 9, E minor 7, G, E minor, D, repeat from there, G chorus, slash A, C add 9, E minor 7, G, E minor, D, C add nine with a hammer. And we're back to a verse. Slash up trick. Round and round it goes. Great. So thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing and for all your feedback. It's fun as always and I'm really glad that people seem to be enjoying these. Um, so uh, lots more coming at you as well, lots more songs and maybe some series and some blues stuff, maybe some jazz stuff as well. I yeah, hope that interests you. Um, we will see you very soon. Good luck with this and most of all, I hope you enjoy it. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.